is brought to you by ScrambleCore.com. Box time. Front. Side. Side. Bottom. Top. And the back side. Open, Open the box. The box. The box. Here we have Transformers Voyager Class Generations Brainstorm. And he is a fancy pants space jet X Wing looking sort of thing. It's I think it's pretty cool. It's got a really nice I mean it's got a nice aesthetic to it, nice design to it. And it is pretty accurate, pretty reminiscent anyway, of the um comic book stylings of him. Um Taking a look at him in here, we have these two removable weapons. Let's see at those guys. Get a real good look at just one here. Got some nice mold details there. Pretty nice paint. It's kind of a uh, just a, a silvery gray sort of paint to it, but nice nonetheless. Um, his wings are articulated, um, and, and it's pretty much just for aesthetic purposes because really uh, it, it doesn't hold any bearing specifically with the transformation. Um, just just the way that you want him to look. You know, you can have him up, you can have him down, you can have him more X-Wing style, whatever. And of course his cockpit opens, and inside we have his head. And there he is. Like a little smirk he's got on his face. Now one thing I will have to say about this guy, and we will see this here in a moment, is that I don't know if his head is too big, or if the... Uh, Jet's receptacle for his head where it connects is too small, but it is a snug fit. And his arms here, they do move up and down, though they are very snug. Um, he just has a solid, one solid leg piece, really. I mean, he's jointed here at the knee, of course, for his transformation, but um, they are mold they're molded together here at the bottom. Turn it over, and there's your face on his spine. You can see you're coming. So, anyway, there he is, and uh. You can take a look at him alongside some uh, some other bots that you might have at home so that you might know just about how big he is. Here he is with um, the Fall of Cybertron Shockwave. And here is the uh, Alternator's uh, smoke screen, who is quite a bit larger than these guys which is actually even a little bit bigger than Masterpiece scale. But, you see one of his shipmates on board the Lost Light. And here he is alongside little Generations tailgate. Get a good uh, size comparison there. And these two look very good together. And I'm hoping one of the third party guys will come out with his suitcase. That would be groovy. So now we can take a look at him in his root mode. Now before we get too far into his transformation, I wanted to show what I was talking about. When you take his head here, and you snap it down right inside this hole, there's this little piece right here that kind of rolls into this hole on the back of his head's head. So you just slip that in there it pops in very easily and it gives him a nice I mean he's got some nice articulation on his head there but getting that thing out man I, I thought for sure I was gonna break the little guy's head the ball joint that holds his head in but there he is transformed I can uh, you can either throw his guns back here on either side or you can put him in his hands I'm gonna arm him up on his hands so there he is all armed up looking nice and uh, Pardon my reach. We take a look at him side by side here with the, the chug side swipe. And here he is with MP10 behind him. So you can see brain, Brainstorm is a fairly large figure. I mean, and then of course we have him here with the tailgate in the frame. There! Those guys look pretty good together. I know they don't hang out much together in the uh, comic book, but 
they do look nice together. Here he is alongside one of my favorite new additions to my collection, Fans Project Assaulter. I don't honestly think those guys are in scale together because I think broadside is supposed to be pretty stinking huge. But then again, that being said, I mean, I, I think he is not too far off from from Springer. I'll bust out Springer when I do the review for him. We can get a really good comparison there. But that being said, they do look very nice together. Final thoughts. Awesome figure. Pick him up. You might not like his aesthetic, aesthetic so much when he's in the uh, spacecraft mode, but his robot mode, all of his little features, his articulation. I, check out these ratcheting. Like, listen to that. That's crazy. I wish that my Metroplex had joints like that. Awesome. Absolutely awesome figure. Uh, his, I, I hope that they bring out Chrome Dome. Check him out at ScrambleCore.com. They can hook you up with all kinds of other transformers. They're even getting into masterpieces and they're starting to get into 3D printing. If you're into that sort of thing as well, they also have Power Rangers. Peace. Oh. Like it. Share it. Subscribe.